smile and breathe deeply beautiful people. Today I just wanted to cover some balance exercises for people with MS. This lady wrote me on my blog saying she has horrible balance. And so I took a couple of ballet classes, like maybe two or three. And basically balance starts at the feet, right? So you want to really work the muscles in the toes. So we're going to do just a handful of exercises that will hopefully help you a lot with your balance. So the first one is where you basically just lift your toes towards you, just like this. The exercise is to lift and lower the toes, right? So we're going to do this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. So why this exercise? Basically, this exercise forces you to plant the mounts of the toes into the mat and therefore forces the, for the corners of the feet to ground themselves into the mat as well, right? And so I find that ever since I've been practicing this exercise, my foot is much more engaged and much more suctioned into the floor, which generally helps with my balance. This next exercise, what you do is you plant the big toe and you lift the little toes. And then you lift the big toes and plant the little toes. Watch my feet, okay? Toes, big toes plant and little toes lift and vice versa. So this might be hard at first, so you might have to do it manually. You might literally have to hold the big toes down as the little toes lift and then vice versa. So you push the little toes down and lift the big toes. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If at any point you have a hard time doing these exercises, you could do them with a stick. So you could do the first one where you lift the toes with a stick and ground the stick into the floor. Or even the second one where you lift the big toes and alternate. This next one, you'll probably need a stick for sure. That's why I went to get it. What you want to do is lift on the balls of the feet and lower. We go for nine, lower, eight. Lower, seven, lower, six, lower, five, lower, four, lower, three, lower, two, lower, and one, lower. Take a few breaths to relax. Exhale. So watch this next one. Now that the feet are quite warm, ground the feet into the floor and push the pole into the floor if you have to as well. What you want to do is raise the knee. We're just going to do five on each side. You could do anywhere between 10 and 20. And so lower back down for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one, lower, and let's go towards the opposite side, for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Again, take another breath. And so this one's almost the same, except instead of bringing the knee towards the chest, we're gonna elongate the leg. So we come for five, four, Three, two, and one. Opposite leg. For five, four, three, two, and one. I just wanted to show you one more exercise and then we'll call it quits. In this exercise, we used to practice it anywhere between 10 and 30 times. For the video, we're just going to do it for 10. You can bring your hands on the floor and just point the toes, right? 
So one good thing about working on the floor is you don't have to worry about your balance. So just whatever stretches or exercises you can get that are floor related, do them because they're perfect for you. You don't have to worry about your balance. You can be comfortable, you can be seated. For now, I'll just show you this one, okay? So for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. So these are my few exercises for balance poses and feet strengthening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will post up some more uh, videos eventually. I did a little playlist for multiple sclerosis. That way all the videos related to MS are in one kind of stream of uh, videos. And that's it. I love you guys. I wish you well. And that's it. Eat well, train hard, and namaste.